The pond is so clear. Mango, come here. Hi. Yeah, I'm like tearing up. I never cry. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to figure out how to make this work. You saw it took four, three grown men and me, fly man, to get this pig onto the truck. Now getting it out. Good morning, fishies. The pond is so clear. Crystal, crystal clear. Whoa, I love it. There's some beautiful ones. Nextdaykoi.com. Look at that. Insane. And you got the Mayans over there. Still got all their babies. Just wanted to show you guys the pond is looking absolutely amazing. Things bipolar. It's got clear, dirty, clear, dirty. It's got issues. I try to do my best to keep it clean, though. We're hopping in the truck right now. Oh, it's hot. To go get mango. The piglet. I shouldn't say piglet. It's not a piglet. The the massive belly, pop belly pig. <laughs> you might know when I come outside. Mango, come here. Come. Sorry. You're good. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, bro. Does he live in the backyard? Yeah, he lives back here. Really? Yeah. He's chilling back here? Mango, come here. All right, fellas, this is, this is Mango. Becky. He's huge. All right, I'm just gonna put the camera down right now, and uh, we'll just figure out how to get it in the truck. So uh -oh. I bought a big cage. That one's definitely not the cage. <laughs> but yeah, I think the best bet is to get this cage. We're just throwing, I just bought it just in case, but we'll put the pig in the back with the AC and everything. It'll be a lot nicer of a ride. Yeah, that'll be great. Just the process of getting it from there to there. It's what, 200 pounds? At least 200 pounds. <laughs> it's a beast. The plan is we're gonna get him to walk into a cage, the one I bought. Pick the cage up so you don't have to worry about getting, hit, about getting hit with the tusk and then have him walk into here. Okay. Yeah, I'm like tearing up. I never cry. <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. I'm getting emotional with the owner. <laughs> Dude, that's, 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 like, that's me getting rid of Lulu. I haven't had Lulu for a chider for two years. She's had this pig for two years. That's crazy. She was showing me videos of like little mango running around. I'm gonna actually pop them up on the screen if she sends them to me. So here they are right here. I mean, look how tiny and cute. Adorable. Bye. Uh -huh. Everyone's crying, even me. Got a bunch of waters in the back, so throughout the ride we can go out, you know, and pour it on top of the sheet, because that's where we sprayed it with a hose, and it drips water like it's raining, pretty much to keep him cool, because it is hot out here. Um, and we'll stop and give him, you know, water in his bowl back there. But it's a long ride home, we got about an hour and change, so, um, yeah. Nice slow turning ride home. By slow turning, I mean I can't be rough driving right now at all. He a big boy. He's a big boy. I'm talking big boy. We had to put like 15 ties around each corner of that cage so he doesn't break out. We initially wanted to put him in the back of the truck in the AC, but he was not cooperating. Just a beast of an animal that you're not controlling whatsoever. So we ended up putting him back there. Thank God it's overcast right now. As you can see, lots of clouds in the sky. I'm excited. I'm excited to get Mango home to his new home. I also did let the previous owners know to text me whenever they want. You know, they can come visit Mango whenever they want. I'll get you in the gate. You come and hang out with your animal because I know how that would feel if that was Lulu I would I would oh my gosh. I don't even know. I don't even know. I'll see you in like 10 minutes with an update Yeah, I think I'm hilarious We're reading the comments from last video and there's people saying that you look 14 and 10 But there's a lot more better comments than bad. They're not yeah. even bad. How old are you, you lying to me? Let no. me see your ID. No, look Whenever She's 20. One of my friends is 60 years old. I'm gonna be looking like 30. So, you know what? It's fine. I'm not gonna lie though. I still get asked if I want a kid's menu. Alright, um, <laughs> the pig's in the back. And yeah, it's going great so far. Honestly, I'm pretty stoked. I think we're gonna put it in the goat enclosure. These are hurting my eyes a lot. We're gonna put it in the goat enclosure for now. The goats love being with my pigs, and there's also a house they can go in when it's raining and all that. Yada yada yada. So yeah, that's where we're planning on putting it. It's just gonna be a really uh, a, a pain to get this pig out of the back of the truck alone. All right, it's time to call some friends. All right, we're at a rest stop. We're gonna look at the piggy. Hey, buddy. I got some waters, I'm gonna give him some water and then we're gonna get back on the road, so let's do that. Hello everyone. Look at all these little creatures. We are, as you can see, back home. Yeet. So many tilapia in there. 
Kevin, our little duckling inside is one, oh, well, I think it is at least one of you. Alrighty, so those of you who watch like every single video, over there I'm getting a pond dug on that other side of the yard. That dirt from that pond will and then fill in the enclosures that need more dirt, like the hog enclosure and the one next to that. I explained it in the last video. Once that's done, then we can really dig into those enclosures for now. They get filled with water on heavy rain days, which we've been having a lot of. As you can see, it's, there's just puddles everywhere. The goats have, I mean, I left that open. So the goats always roam through in and out of this enclosure with my pigs. As you see, they're all down there eating right now. So this is where I'm going to keep this mass pig for now. I'm going to keep it in here. It has a cover. It's got plenty of land. So right here, this enclosure is going to be where uh, mango stays. Obviously, it's not going to be its permanent home. It'll probably go over there. But for now, we're actually building this for the goats. As you can see, we got the wood out right here. Some 4x4s and stuff. This stuff. We're going to build something cool for the goats over there in an upcoming video. But for now, at least it has this cover. It's got a place to stay. A dry place to stay. The challenge is... And it's a big challenge. None of the none of the boys pulled through. None of, none, I'll be honest. None of the boys pulled through. I mean, they did, but they said they couldn't make it at the time I needed them. Not cool, Nick. Just not cool, man. I'm just playing, but for real, I needed help. I needed help back. So I'm gonna try to figure out how to make this work. You saw it took four, three grown men and me, fly, man, to get this pig onto the truck. Now getting it out. I think I'm gonna do a plywood, slide the cage down the pl. All right, I somehow just got my truck this way into the enclosures. I, I, I honestly, I backed it in right here, just fit by maybe by an inch. Put the back of the truck in there, had to close these gates, then put the truck forward and backed up into here. And now I am right up. Well, I gotta open the tailgate, so I do have to pull forward. Cage is right there, and I am hopefully gonna be able to put a piece of plywood and slide the cage down it. That's my thought. <laughs> Hey, you beast. Some pig it's right there, right in your face, huh? All right, instead of a plywood, it wouldn't fit through the door, so I did this one, you know, two by four. I mean, it's in there. I dug it in the dirt, and then I put it hard against the, you know, it's not going anywhere. I mean, look, I'm standing on it right now. So I'm gonna pull up here, and hopefully this works out as we plan. I know, buddy. You gotta talk to him throughout the process. Mango, it's gonna be all right, bud. I have such an incredible love for these animals. I really just want to get this done as quick as possible and as least stressful as possible for this animal. So I hope this goes well. My focus is not really on the camera right now. <laughs> that went a lot better than I thought. Gotta get your first steps in your new enclosure, bud. 250, 300 pound pig going into its new home. I'm so glad it got here nice, safe, you know, stress-free. It wasn't that bad of a ride, honestly. Look, you got all this land. It's all yours. Bruh. It may take me a little bit to get this pig out of here. I gotta put the camera down. All my pigs are very, very curious what's going on on the other side of this, right here. They're all like, what the heck? I'm kind of just gonna let Mango do his own thing and make his own way out. People connect with dogs and cats super well, which I love dogs and cats, but don't get me wrong. I am, I swear I'm on this earth to connect with pigs, to have a pig farm. This is literally, I connect with these animals, like, I don't know what it is. He's never left that house before in his entire life, never been in a car, never done anything. All my pigs over here, they've all been in cars. They've all been transported back and forth from like my mom's to here multiple times at their younger ages when they're little tiny piglets. So they're used to the transportation like that. A two year old, almost 300, probably 300 plus pound pig, never been transported before. It's, it's scary, it's, but he probably thinks he's gonna get turned into bacon. Not around here, Mango. Not around here, right? You know, it's funny. I think I have an even bigger challenge on my hand. That's getting this truck out of this enclosure. That's gonna be the biggest pain in the butt. I'm gonna kind of tilt the cage a little bit. Come on. Come on. All right, bud. I'm just gonna leave you, let you do your own thing. I'll come back out here in like, you know, 10 minutes. Oh, I made him a little mud pit and look at him. Mangy. Look at him, he's loving it. He's like, yes, mud. He's never had mud before. That is awesome. Don't tip your water. He loves slipping the water. I don't know why. He's stoked right now. Absolutely stoked. Well, it keeps the flies off them too. Look, look, at, look at that. <laughs> I love it. That means he's happy. He's rolling. 
he's getting comfortable. It's gonna take him a few days. Back. Two days later, by the way, let me just put this straight forward. Mango is doing amazing. A little bit, you know, like shy, aggressive, slash like who are you type thing. But Lady May, I feel like was the same way when we got hurt. You know our other big pig. It's rain, it's raining, what's what's new? You know, I, I posted an Instagram on this, Lady May. This is Lady May, by the way. You're, you're sleeping in the $20 Home Depot plastic temporary bin when I just spent $1,500 on a brand new house. Um, I mean, I guess either way it works. That's, that's why I kept it. <laughs> but I think it's just funny. Just goes to show you, money does not buy happiness. Hey, you little ones. These little guys. Buttercup and Rosie, which are our two little pigs, there's Rosie and there's Buttercup over there, have been roaming around every day during the day. And at night, they actually go into their house by themselves, and I just close the gate. So they're getting the hang of it. Once they get big enough, I'll be able to keep them out, and they'll learn to go into that house with my other big pigs. Let's see what Mango's up to. Oh, Mango is slump. Mango! What up, buddy? You got your chicken friends? So I got him a water bowl and a food dish. He's still a little new to the farm, so he's only eating a little bit of food every morning and then a little bit at night. And I feel like at night, he always clears the bowl. And by the time I wake up, I fill the bowl again. Because last night, he ate the whole thing. I got the water right there. He's got his uh, mud pit over there. Sorry for the sound. I mean, at least I'm staying dry and I can film out here with Mango. I really hope the aggression side of Mango uh, does tone down a bit. He was never aggressive to his previous owners, obviously. But lately, with me at least, he's been like, I don't know who you are. And he does the little barking thing. <laughs> He'll get comfortable and understand where he is. Lady May was kind of the same way. She's good now, obviously, like one of my favorites. She plays with me, lays with me. So yeah, you guys know. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome Mango down below in the comments. My filter went out in the fire horn tank, so I got a new one. I also, I did the name tags. There it is. We just named this one for fun because he never had a name. Gregothy the third. And then over here we got George Jr. Y'all know George Jr. Pocket and Phoebe, the rat. I literally bought something to do this. And then solely the axolotl. Everything's labeled, I can't, I officially cannot forget now. And you, Mr. or Mrs., are just getting so big. We have not named you yet, I gotta go through the comments. Go on my last video and uh, drop a name for the duck. Today's probably coming shout out goes out to Wesley. Watching you from South Africa, Paul, keep up the content. My son and I both enjoy your videos. I appreciate that, Wesley. And hopefully your son's watching. What up? If you want to win a positive comment shout out, drop a positive comment down in the comments down below. Make sure y'all are subscribed to the channel down below as well. Click the bell so you don't miss out on any videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in that next video. Peace out. What you're thinking like honestly what could you possibly be thinking so hard about